Welcome to the SD online classes. This is class 10 MBSC physics chapter 3 chapter name is electricity page number is 69 this is the second lecture in the previous lecture we have finished the electric charge how it is originated what is the concept of this and potential potential difference and the units of potential and also how it is measured okay now in this one the important formula that potential has with work done and charge that will be used for solving some numericals this numerical is already solved in your textbook but it is here explained let us see what is the potential difference that means v b minus v a is asked to us between the two terminals there are two terminals two places of if a battery this is if a battery of 56.5 joule joule from the unit you should know that it is the work done so the given thing is what work done is 56.5 remember joule is si unit so no change is required is required to transfer 50 coulomb coulomb is the unit of charge even this charge is not mentioned you should understand that this is speaking about charge so the q is you can write capital also small also same thing 50 capital c is the coulomb from one terminal of the battery to the other now you have to find what is the potential difference that means just like vb minus v va you have to find this here we can write v plus minus v minus y because we are talking about terminals of a battery in the battery it is written plus minus there okay so a is plus b is minus this you have to find and the formula is well known to you since v plus minus v minus equal to w by q so this is the formula already derived you write fill up those w 56.5 divided by in place of q this is 50 if you cancel it and divide you will get 1.13 unit is this is joule this is coulomb so the unit will be joule per coulomb also you should remember that another unit in short we write the same joule per coulomb is also written as volt v v o l t also you can write or simply volt. so this is your answer okay very simple if you know this formula directly putting them and dividing it okay when you cancel it I will show you how it is cancelled here how it is coming this 5 6 5 divided by 5 0 0 I have shifted this one digit here one digit here it become 500 it is becoming 5 6 5 if you cancel it 500 ones are 500 okay when 500 divides 565 500 ones are 500 6 5 remains keep a point here 0 500 ones are 500 again you will get 0 here 5 here 1 here because of this point already you can put one more 0 500 threes are 1500 so you got this answer how it 1.13 came this is the way okay clear so this is the first problem solved okay well similarly we'll try the second third fourth also let's continue Okay, this is the second question here work done in bringing a three coulomb of charge okay that means the charge is three coulomb q is three from infinity to a point when we are talking about infinity to a two point to a point we are talking about one potential first okay is 12 joule finish and another story is also there and in bringing it the same thing same then it means same charge three coulomb charge remember the charge is three coulomb q is three coulomb and first it is br brought from uh, infinity to a so that means one problem up to here is over and after that in bringing it that means same charge another situation up to point b if you bring then the work done is 16 joule within an electric field calculate the potential difference between the two points what you have to do you have to find separately the first potential and again the second potential and subtract it okay for point a what is given here 
charge is how much is the charge it is 3 coulomb what is the work done you can write w a also because it is a okay you can also write q a also but they are same q a and q b will be same 12 joule okay first situation is 12 joule 3 coulomb now so what is v a formula is w a by q a why this v is equal to w by q you know that formula put the value 12 by 3 so this will be 4 joule per coulomb also you can call 4 volts fine finish another one done 4 point 4 point b 4 point b what is q b again 3 3 coulomb capital c remember what is w b it is 16 joule now so v b will be what w b by q b this is the formula right what is w b 16 what is q b 3 now when i divide this what i'll get 3 5s are 15 one remains 10 3 3s are 9 again 10 remains 3 3s are like so no need to continue too many times just leave here volts okay joule per coulomb and then volts so what is the end question here calculate the potential difference potential difference means what is the difference between them so what is that v b minus v a what is that 5.3 minus 4 what is this 1.3 how i got 5.3 minus 4.04 4 means 4.0 okay don't write 4 here 3 let's see how much it is 1.3 volts okay so this is your answer in question number two remember the formula was important here and here and then va minus vb after getting the two answers okay va you got it here v2 you got it here and then subtract them you get the answer okay again we'll continue the next question similarly let's see this question number three it says how much charge that means what is q okay how much charge means you are asked what is your q you can write small letter or capital q no problem i'll write small letter transferred between the terminals between the terminals means there are two v v1 and v2 or v plus v minus or va minus vb whatever terminals means plural two terminals are there okay of a battery of 20 volt if okay amount of work done v plus minus v minus is 20 volt the potential difference is 20 volt if amount of work done in transferring the charge from one terminal of the battery okay to the other is 100 joule here w is given 100 joule how will you know j is a unit of work done okay very very easy earlier this was asked okay this time this is asked same formula so what is the formula v plus minus v minus equal to w by q put every time like this so that you will remember the formula later what is v plus v, v plus v minus 20 what is w 100 what is q unknown so one unknown can be easily found cross multiply here it is one isn't it here it is one i am not writing clearly q 20 is a 20 q cross multiply 20 into q is 20 q 1 into 100 is 100 100 ones are 100 so q equal to 100 by 20 what is this q equal to 25 is 100 so what is the unit of charge you remember it is coulomb okay so how much charge how much charge is the question your answer is the charge should be 5 coulomb charge is transferred no need to write in full sentence this will be over okay very simple every time you have to know the formula okay one more question remain we'll continue again so this is your fourth question how much energy remember energy is what work done okay energy is what work done so you have to find e e symbolized for energy or it is w same how much that you have to find is given to each coulomb what is what is the meaning of each coulomb 
each coulomb means every one coulomb so that means the charge is 1c okay directly not given this question okay each coulomb means one coulomb of each coulomb of charge passing through 6 volt battery so v is equal to 6 volt so what is the connection w q v you find w and that is your energy also since v is equal to w by q again put this in place of v write 6 in place of w unknown this is q you can write e also here okay cross multiply q has to be 1 right q is 1 here is 1 here w ones are w 6 ones are 6 so what is the unit of w joule so what is the energy energy given how much is the energy given equal to 6 joule the work done and energy is same okay their units are same they are joule so this is 6 joule is your answer right so this way we have solved four different numericals based on v is equal to w by q all okay so that is all in numerical section thank you